Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel again. So what am I doing other than looking at the screen and not the lens? Pfft, what the hell? Okay, so again, heed that warning. Fuck this shit. Yes, I live by that. Um, today, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do dip powder from start to finish using dip liquids step one step two step three so your base your activator and your top coat from any dip powder system that you choose to use I will be using triple vitamin liquids and then powder from rebel nail no you know what I changed my mind I will be using dip powder liquids from triple vitamin and a powder from also from triple vitamin they're one of my new favorite dip powder companies. Their two ounce jars are $15. Their liquids are $10.50 each. And they've been having 30% off sales all throughout the holidays and your girl is living for them. So I'm just gonna do a tutorial using triple vitamin. They're new, there's not a lot of videos of them on YouTube. Why not do a video? But. My tutorial is only gonna be on the swatch tip because my nails are already done, so I really don't see a point in doing my nails all over again. But I might do them in the future. I might do my actual own nails in the future, like when I put on tips. But for now, triple vitamin on a swatch stick. If you are watching this, I'm just about to do my triple vitamin how to use dip powder. You can use this system or any system of dip powder. It doesn't matter if it's triple vitamin or Rebel Nails, Sparkle & Co, whatever dip powder system you choose to use, the steps are pretty much universal across all brands. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I use my triple vitamin dip, which is a two ounce dip. It is massive. Most brands have one ounce or half ounce jars, mostly one ounce. This is a lot of powder in a jar. The system also comes with a keratin bond. It's basically a pre pH prep. It works pretty well. You don't necessarily need it if you have other pH prep. Please excuse my wounded finger. If you have another pH prep that you use, that's okay, you don't need to buy this one. The three most important steps in the system are the base coat, the activator, and the top coat. So if you are going to buy just three steps and not the starter kit, which I recommend the starter kit to everybody, get these three steps at least. If you are somebody who doesn't like a dip powder top coat, you can replace it for their no cleanse gel top coat. It is amazing and has a beautiful shine because that's what I have on my fingers right now. Their starter kit also has a cuticle oil and a brush restorer. I have not had to use the brush restorer yet, so that's a good sign. So let's get started. I'm gonna do this process on a swatch stick but the process would be just the same on your nail. The only thing is that you would have to prep your nail bed first, use your pH prep, push back your cuticles, all that magic, all that jazz. So the first thing you wanna do is have a clean workstation and you want to open your bottles. I always like to keep my bottles open so that when I'm in the middle of working, I don't have to sit here and stop. Okay. Another thing you're going to want to have on you is a pretty good like fluffy brush to brush off all the excess powder off your nail or swatch stick, however you're choosing to use your dip powder system. So I'm going to start on my swatch stick and I'm going to take my base coat, which is here considered step two and several other brands it's considered step one if the brand doesn't sell a pH prep. But in this system, it is considered step two. I just go by base. So I don't have to prep the swatch stick, but if you were prepping your nail, push back your cuticles, cleanse it, sanitize, use your keratin bond, pH prep, whatever. And then you start with your base bond. So here, I'm gonna do it sideways so you guys can see. You're gonna put base bond all over the nail. Then put your thing back. And then you want to dip at a 45 degree angle and then I just dipped it and then tap. So your first dip is not gonna have like the best coverage in the whole world as you can see right here. Once you dip to your second and third dip, then it's gonna get much better and cleaner and full coverage. But the first dip never has the best coverage. So do not worry. 
Also, your color doesn't show its true shade until after you put on the activator. So do not fear. This will look better. So once you feel like it's dry enough, you go in with your second layer of base bond all over your nail bed. Since it's a swatch stick, I'm not too worried about staying away from the sides or anything. And then you again dip at your 45 degree angle into the jar, remove it, and then tap off the excess into the jar. So my second application has a much fuller coverage, if you can see that okay. It is absolutely gorgeous, a very shimmery red, it's almost cranberry color, I love it. Very beautiful. All right, so then you wanna take your brush and then fluff off, brush off the excess and go in for your third base coat layer. Most systems require two to three layers of base coat and dip. This system, I know how thin these liquids are and how like amazing they are to work with. I love them so much and I love how long the base bond takes to fully dry. So I always recommend four layers. And then I know that when I use these powders, I don't have to buff a lot. See like how smooth this is? Only if you want it like completely flawlessly smooth. I'm gonna re-dip that in the powder because it still looks kind of wet. To let it absorb the rest of the liquid. For video purposes, I am not going to go in and go for a fourth dip. It's unnecessary for me because this is just a swatch stick. But if you do not like the thickness of how thick or thin your nails are, go ahead and go and do like a fourth dip or so. And then just build it up to the thickness that you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my jar because I don't wanna ruin or spill my powder anywhere. And this color is danger zone. This over. So I'm done with my base coat. I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and close that and push that to the side. Your next step is step three. It is considered your activator. And then you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna douse the nail swatch or your nail with it. Don't even worry about getting it on your skin. It is completely okay to get the activator on your skin. The ones that you don't wanna get on your skin are the base coat in any of the top coats, whether it's gel or dip top coat. And that thing is pretty soaking wet. So at this point, you wanna let it dry. some brands especially this brand in particular the activator can mess with the top coat drying properly so you don't want your nail or your nail swatch however you're using the top coat to still have any leftover unabsorbed activator so even if I wait my two minutes for this to dry it is still you want to be careful and you don't want your nails to have any extra activator because it will not dry the top coat properly so I have these Born Pretty lint-free wipes that I got on AliExpress. It was pretty cheap. They're really cool and they come in these rectangles. And what I do is I just wipe my nail or my nail swatch stick pretty well so it can absorb the leftover activator. If you don't have this, I know that you can use a paper towel. It will work fine. I just like having some nail designated ones. So I think I'm done waiting for my top coat, or not my top coat, my activator to dry. I'm gonna call it a day on that. And I'm gonna come over here with my step four, which is my dip powder top coat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply, it says right here, after activator, apply on top coat on all nails. I usually use two coat of top coat. Look at that beautiful shine. Oh, it's a, such a beautiful cranberry color. It is so gorgeous. 
So usually I wait about 10 to 15 seconds till I notice that the top coat is starting to dry and dull and it starts to crinkle a little bit. It's very difficult to show on camera. But once your top coat starts to crinkle, I think you can see it right there. Then you go in with your second layer of top coat. Ta-da! Okay, let me close this all the way. It's not closing. Okay, there we go. And that is that. It is completely perfect. It's such a beautiful color. Let's see if I can bring the light down. Nope. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I wish I could properly show it to you guys. Maybe I'll do a photo and then put it in the thumbnail. That seems like a good idea. Oh, hello. Okay, so then you let that dry for a little bit. It shouldn't take long for your top coat to dry. If you did it wrong or the activator is not completely dry, it is going to take you a little bit to do your top coat. But I totally recommend when you're doing your dip powder application, so you do one step at a time on all nails. So do all 10 nails. So like I do my base coat and dip on one nail, and then I move on base coat and dip, base coat and dip, base coat and dip, base coat and dip. I do one layer on all five nails, and then I'll go ahead and do my second layer on all five, and then my third layer on all five. So I don't do all steps on one nail and then move on to the next. No, I do it on all five and then I move on to the next. And then you're going to, after it completely dries, apply your activator to all five nails. Buff, smooth if necessary, and apply your activator again. And then once that is completely dry, you've dried it off with your lint-free cloths like the ones I have, you're gonna go in with your top coat on all five nails, give it a little bit of time to dry, just like 15, 20 seconds, and then go ahead again and go do all five nails and then finish that hand and then move on to the next hand that is my preferred way of doing it you don't have to do it that way but i found that's the best way to do it to save a lot of time so this is my swatch stick and my top coat is perfect yes look at that it is completely gorgeous i'm going to remove my phone from the stand and then try to show you guys how gorgeous this is and that's practically impossible. <laughs> there. Gorgeous. I love that. That's what it looks like on the naked eye. It is so gorgeous. Okay. So I am done doing this tutorial for today. If you have any questions, or you need any advice or something is not working for you, just comment below and let me know. All right, bye.